Hey, what's up, family? I'm Rachel. And I'm Joe. And we are Two, two Crazy, crazy Ketos. Ketos. Well, today we're going to do something a little different. Since everybody knows that I love bars, we're going to have a good old-fashioned keto bar showdown. And we'll do it right, right after, after this. this. So if you're new to our channel, welcome. Like I said, my name is Joe. And I'm Rachel. And we're Two Crazy Ketos. And here on Two Crazy Ketos, we do different things like product reviews. We do recipe videos. Sometimes we do silly things like we're going to do today. Uh, we talk about different keto topics. And then once a week, we sit down on the couch for Keto on the Couch, where we're just kind of talking about what's going on in our lives for the week. You can find us on different social media platforms like Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram. And we also have a website, which is twocrazyketos.com. And that's where you're going to find all of our different recipes. Now, we do upload at least five new videos every single week. So make sure that you're subscribed to our channel. And hit the little bell icon, and that way, every single time we upload a new video, you'll be alerted to it. Yeah. So... If you're new to our channel, I love bars. Um, He's like Mr. Bar I guy. spend a lot of my time in my truck. Um, I'm a sports official. I do landscaping. So I'm always on the go. And sometimes I'm not going to eat my first meal until very late, like 8 o'clock, 9 o'clock at night. I was just going to say you should probably clarify because you're like, I love bars, not like drinking bars. Yeah, not drinking bars. Meal bars or food meal bars or bars. snack bars. Um, but sometimes I just like to have something that will kind of tide me over until my meal that I can eat a couple of hours before, especially if I'm going to a game and, you know, I don't want to eat a big meal because I'm going to have to run up and down a football field or a lacrosse field. I don't want to be weighed down with five to 700 calories of food. So I just want a little something for some energy or something like that. And I like to eat them because they taste like dessert. <laughs> And there's different kinds of bars that I like. I mean, I like the dessert ones. I like the ones that are kind of more like a meal bar, even though I'm not using it as a meal substitute, more of a snack. Um, but generally, I always want everything to have like a really good taste and it's got to have good keto macros. Yeah. So right now I have three bars that I can, are the only ones that I will actually buy. All the other bars we have, we get from like our keto crates or maybe we'll find one individually in a store or something like that. Just check it out. Um, but the only ones that we actually order online are the perfect keto bars. And I actually have one here. I have the new flavor, which is uh, chocolate chip cookie dough. We did a review of that. Mm -hmm. I'll put that over your head. Um, then I also buy the Kiss My Keto bars. Kiss My Keto. Okay, these are kind of like a candy bar almost. They're like really good. And this is a chocolate chip cookie dough, which we haven't tried this flavor yet. So I kind of threw it into this Well, one. I like that because you, you're going to see. We have two different chocolate chip cookies. They're both dough. taking a stab at And then the last one that I like to buy are dough. Dang Bars. And Dang! Dang Bars are a little bit different than these. These are very sweet. They're very, they're, you can use these as a dessert. Mm -hmm. Whereas this one here is almost like a very soft kind of granola. Bar. I don't know. They all taste really. We actually have one more bar that we we've got sent to us. We've had them a couple times, but we don't really go out of our way to order them because they remind me too much of candy, okay. and that's the regular keto bar. Oh, all right. You know, but I I don't trust myself buying those because they're like eating a fudge. You're gonna eat a box of them. Yeah. So so here's what we're gonna do. We've got a bunch of different bars. We're gonna go over them real quick. And we even threw one that I would never buy again in here. So we've Watch got- Watch this be your favorite. We've got a Stoka bar. Okay, now the Stoka bar, I'm gonna know exactly which one is the Stoka bar. It's very because crumbly. Because it's, it's like a crumbly granola bar, but just kind of throwing in there yeah. like, hey, which ones do we prefer? Mm -hmm. We've got a chocolate keto fit bar. Okay? I've never tried that one. Never had that one. We've got a new go slim brownie crunch bar. We've got a Boo Fit bar. Boo. <laughs> and this flavor is salted caramel and pecan. All right. Then we have, this just came in our keto crate. It is the Choco Right Protein Bar, yellow cake flavor. We have the Raw Rev Glow. And this is creamy peanut butter and sea salt. And then finally, just for the heck of it, we threw a Quest bar in there. Just and see. this is mocha chocolate chip. So that's funny. So yes, we couldn't get everybody the same exact flavor, but if you think I'm gonna remember which one was connected to which flavor, like to start with, like 
Forget it. I, I can't even remember. You just said them, and I won't remember which one was I supposed know. to be peanut butter. So here's here's the goal of this. The goal of this is to see if any of these, these three, right, these grouping right here, can compete with these three. Okay. Okay. So what we're going to do, we're going to turn the camera off for a second. We're going to just cut a little piece because this is pretty much our meal for the day. Yeah. Eating these because, like, every one of these has a few carbs in it. And since we do total carbs, we're pretty much killing our, our food intake for the day. Yeah. All for the sake of you guys. So maybe you guys will, I mean, it's. You it's, figure if every one of these is 200 calories yeah. and if we eat a quarter of each one of them, we're going to eat like 500 calories. Well, there's right no here. sense in them having to, you know, buy all of these bars. Yeah. And then what we'll do, we're going to break up, we're going to put them into, Rachel's got these bowls that she's numbered. Yes. We're going to break them up. We're going to put just a little piece. We're going to taste them one by one. We're going to line them up in our order. And then we will refer back to a sheet that Anthony will have of which one is which. And then we'll take a look at the, the ones that we really like. Let's take a look at the ingredients. So, so let's do this. Let's turn the camera off. We'll be back with you guys in just a couple of minutes. So we're back. And I was like so like almost crying, cutting these bars, going, I want to eat them. I usually save my bars. That's why we have such a stash. But You're a this is all for a good cause. You're a bar hoarder. <laughs> when you only have one, you really don't want to waste the one. All right. Okay, so here's what we got. There's no way we can fit it all on camera because we have 10 different bars, including the three that are our favorites. Or and we have favorite. our bat bowls because okay, yes, we have, Halloween. We have bat bowls. It's May. Because the way we're able to save money in order to buy bars yeah. is we only buy bowls, paper plates, and stuff once a year, the day after Halloween when you can get it all at 50% off. Because you could, you'd be amazed at how much stuff has like Halloween things on it, yep. like paper towels. And we even got dog food one time that had no we got cat it was cat litter. food cat litter cat litter. it had little bats and like you know ghosts and that's stuff. that's right because i remember saying like what do they care what they're peeing yeah. and pooping on it was so odd hey pre-keto we used to load up on like the orange filling oreos yeah right and all of the like count chocula cereals like anything because everything was like 50 to 75 percent off yeah so, so we, we now save we, a lot of money i was gonna say we save a ton of money on like not junk buying snacks. halloween candy yeah like, so okay so here we do every every bar is divided into a bowl and on the bottom of the bowl is a number okay so i'll let you guys see that see the number this is number 10. so they're in just random order and then they're numbered. There's a sheet of paper in another room that has which one is which. Yes. So we each have a little card and we're just going to kind of like rank each one. Like, you know, I'd say, I would say like, we'll give it a kind of a vote, right? So we'll go, we'll put down our numbers and then give it a ranking of one to five. Yeah. There's, a t there's, t and there's 10 bars here. Or do you want to give a ranking of one to five based or like on a couple of different categories or just overall? Um, just overall, I yeah, guess. Yeah, overall. Okay. So where do we want to start? Well, I guess we'll start with start this the one top. right here, right? Okay. So this is number 10. <laughs> number 10. Okay. And see if you can figure out what it is when you try. Okay. This is a Stoker bar. Yep. I don't even have to bar. guess it. Boy, that chocolate one is really good, though. We've never had the chocolate one. That is really good. If you like granola bars, the Stoka bars are awesome. I'm drinking coffee for this video because it is a total waste if I don't get to drink coffee with it. I'm going to use water to cleanse my palate. I've got water, too, so I can drink in between. So, so, um... Stoka, that's a good Stoka bar. Yeah. They're really good. Keto Connect actually has a thing on how to make them. And since they've changed the formulation, which I noticed when we opened our Keto Crate, uh -huh. I'm going to try to recreate them myself using the ingredients that they're now using. And I've ordered those ingredients. Okay. So hopefully I can recreate them because then I'll start making them. So That makes me happy. Okay, so uh, go ahead and put down what, you, what you're what you going to give that a rating of one to five, right? Mm-hmm. Ready? Okay. Just grab this one, I guess. Yeah. It smells very chemically. Mm. 
Ew. That's gross. I don't even want to finish it. Mmm. What number is that? Oh, I'm sorry. We almost screwed this up already. That is number five. That one tastes almost sour. That is disgusting. You can't give it less than a one, right? <laughs> Let's go with this one right here. Really glad I had the coffee there. That's for you. And what's this one? This is number four. Reminds me of like a Three Musketeers bar. A little bit chewier. Mm-hmm. Very chocolate, melty chocolate on the outside. Yeah. I almost feel like we should be taking notes. Yeah, I'm, I am kind of like doing stuff to kind of That remember. was number five? What number was that? Uh-uh, that, that was, was number, number four. four. Number four. Just go with this one right here. Okay. Little pieces of like chocolate in that. Yeah. This is number one. Mmm, <laughs> that's really good. That is really good. <laughs> Pretty sure I know what that is. Do you think you know what that one is? I hope it's something that we regularly eat because that is delicious. And if it's right. also like good for us, like <laughs> um, that would make me very happy. I don't, re I mean, I, I'm not sure if I've had that flavor. That had a lot of chocolate. I don't know. I'm now I'm, I'm questioning myself if it's what I think it is. Oh my gosh, this is like taffy. It's like sticking. Look at that. What number is it? Number two. It's got really good flavor. Mm -mm. I can't deal with the texture. It's like ta it's like taffy. But the flavor is good. Suck on it for a minute. It tastes like cake batter. It's got a very weird aftertaste. That was number two, right? Ugh. I'm eating it because I don't want to waste it, but... It is very sweet. It's sweet. If you like sweet. Number three. Mmm. That is just like I wasn't expecting that texture. It's very like. Yeah. The only thing is, it's not very. It's a little bit bitter. That's what I was thinking. It started out good. I like the mouthfeel, but the chocolate is like dark. Chocolate. Ugh. So that was really weird. So the one before it was like so sweet, I thought like that's not good. And then this one was like bitter. Yep. Okay. Number nine. This looks like caramel. Number nine. Mmm. I like that mouthfeel. Yeah, I know what that one is. Man, I'm trying to figure out like what is the flavor though. What what, what number is that? Number nine. I like that mouthfeel. Number eight. Okay, I'm seeing every single ingredient. I think that's a dang bar. Yep. I'm almost positive. The other ones, like it would be like just like um press board all together, some of these ones. Mm -hmm. You're not seeing any distinct ingredient at all. Yeah. This one, I saw all of them. Number seven. It's squishy. Mm. It has an average flavor. It's a Mary Jane. It's those. It's got a Mary Jane flavor, but even slightly muted Mary oh, Jane God. flavor. No. That's that Halloween the candy. The texture's not that bad. It's not super bad. <laughs> no. Mary Jane. I'm writing it down. It is the candy that only shows up at Halloween, and I, I don't know where it lives the rest of the year. I liked Mary Jane's, but that tastes like a very dry Mary Jane. No. Yeah. No. That may be the worst. Well, except for the one that that is like the sickening sweet. I don't know. There's a couple that aren't great. <laughs> Last one. This makes me a little bit sad because we've done it so random. I feel like we could have, like, I would have rather, like, ended on a happy note. We're going to have to bring back. Number six. To end on a happy note. Number six. What mm. 
is that? I can't even figure out the taste. The taste is erythritol. <laughs> no. I oh, almost kind of... There is... Oh my... Is it supposed to be a French vanilla? Oh, no. No, no, no. It's like... It's completely leading with just all sweetener. There is no... It's really overly sweet. No, but not like... Not like sugar sweet. It's like fake sweet. Ew. No. I mean, it's not as bad as some of this other one, but... Like, I feel like that one was was the way that you could put it in water, shake it up, and now it's crystal light. Ugh. Why do we have to end on that? Let's go get our list. We'll be right back. Okay, so we're back. All right. We've got our list. I'm interested let's grab to see our if bars. there's any upsets. Let's, okay, so let's let's just go down. Before we even get into the number, we'll go. To, we'll we'll do this, and then we'll figure it out. What what do you rank number one? I gave number one a five. I I did it four slash five. I I like actually wrote five, then I crossed it out. I wrote four, then I wrote five. I I couldn't go back and forth because I was trying to figure out like which ones do I like best. Uh huh. Um, but like top one. That yeah. was that was definitely a top one. So number one was the Keto Fit Bar. Keto Fit. So let's grab the Keto Fit Bar. Oh, here we are. So the Keto Fit Bar. So the Keto Fit Bar is $2.91. I went and got all the prices. All right. Okay. Let's look at the ingredients. I've never tasted this before. We've never had this one. Chocolate. Uh, right, so, so it's organic almond butter, chicory root fiber, cacao butter, grass-fed collagen, organic, 100% uh, cacao chocolate chips, MCT oil powder, which is MCT oil and acacia fiber, Sunflower lecithin, erythritol, organic coconut oil, organic cocoa, natural flavors, Himalayan pink salt, and stevia. I heard natural flavors. I know, but they all have natural flavors. That's got really good ingredients. Yeah. That's got really good ingredients. It's surprising. Surprising. Like, really good ingredients. Let's look at the macros. One bar, 290 calories, 210 calories from fat, 25 grams of fat. It is 12 grams of protein, 13 grams of carbohydrates, 10 grams of fiber. It says zero sugar alcohols, but it said it has erythritol in it. So what does the front say? Like how? Well, many... that would make it three net carbs. And what are they claiming? Three net carbs, but it's really weird. So this is the Keto Fit Bar. It was good. But it's very weird because one of the ingredients is erythritol, but it says zero grams of sugar alcohols. Maybe they're just being super duper. Maybe they're pooper being like, safe. Like I'd, I'd be interested in emailing them because this this could take a place in my bar rotation. All or right. Is that good? Okay. I thought it was delicious. So. And that was chocolate. Okay, number two. What'd you rank it? A one. That I, was that one that was like sickeningly sweet, but like had a bizarre mouthfeel. It was just. I gave it a two. Blah. I said it had bad texture, but an okay flavor. So that was the Choco Right Bar. I am not surprised that it was, was the over Choco sweet, Right Bar. But I am shocked that I didn't think it was good. So let's look at. It, 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 are we going to be sad that we don't like this? No. Ingredients. We did this in our thing. Protein pl uh, protein blend, which is whey protein isolate, milk protein isolate, whey protein concentrate, isomalto oligosaccharides, which is IMO fiber, prebiotic fiber, almonds, unsweetened chocolate, erythritol, cocoa butter, soy, lecithin, uh, natural and artificial flavors, salt and sucralose. And the other thing, if I remember right, yeah, it's seven grams of fat, 20 grams of protein, 27 total carbohydrates, 22 grams of fiber, 2 grams of erythritol, but you cannot subtract all of that fiber. So bad ingredients? Bad ingredients. It tasted terrible? It's not keto. I'm glad we don't like it. You can toss that bad boy. Toss that bad boy. I'm not even giving that thing to, keep to Caleb. That I thing is gross. I am surprised that I it's didn't like it. It's super sweet. Like overly sweet, but that's because it's IMO fiber. Yeah, but I thought I would like it though. Ugh. It was not Ugh. good. Number three. I gave it a three. I gave it a two. It was like, mm, it number was better three. than number two. Number three was the Nugo Slim Brownie Crunch. That's this here. Let me see the inside. Oh, that was the one that was like the so Nestle. That was this one. That that one I thought was like a Nestle Crunch Bar, but then the, the, the taste the is texture, not good. When you look at the inside, it, if you can see here. You get kind of excited. Like block that your was, face. Oh, sorry. Will it focus? No, it won't focus. Maybe oh. my hands are white too. There you go. <laughs> Sorry, we tried. Um, 
when you look at the texture, when you looked at the inside, you're like, oh, that's going to be good. Yeah, that's going to be tasty. The texture did not match the look, the mouthfeel, nothing. So. And the the taste is very bitter. Yeah, it had. I had. I wrote down bitter, not sweet at all. No. Ingredients on this one: protein mix, which is soy soy crisp, which is soy protein, tapioca starch, whey protein isolate, calcium calcinate, uh, rice protein, chicory root, uh, dark chocolate which is chocolate liqueur, cane sugar, it's cocoa dark butter, vanilla, right. vegetable glycerin, almonds, uh, cocoa, peanuts, chocolate liqueur, rice bran, and uh, yeah, I didn't think it was that good. How many net carbs is it? So you had one here, one bar, 190 calories, 6 grams of fat, 19 grams of carbohydrates, 16 grams of protein. So I'm, I'm kind of sensing like, you know what I'm lo learning really quickly? Oh, by the way... That chocolate right bar is three dollars. Yeah, did you say what keto fit is? The keto fit bar was two dollars and ninety one cents. And how much is this? And this bar here is two dollars. Save your two dollars. Save you. So, but it, it's interesting that we're we're kind of eliminating, not even realizing we're eliminating the ones that are higher in protein. Oh. Right. The choc the chocolate right was disgusting. Well, that's not surprising that's a because bar. where there we're is so fat, used to fat, there's flavor. There's flavor. Yep. So. So that was a no. Number, number four, four. Number four was a straight up five for me. Number four, I gave tasted, a four slash five. It tasted I said, like a three musketeers I bar. I said great flavor and very chocolatey. So number four was the Kiss My oh, Keto Bar. I've never tried this and flavor. And we've never had this flavor. So that's why I was I, I kind of figured it. I didn't. Um, so that was this one here, Kiss My Keto. I don't now eat bars enough to remember. Here's the thing about the Kiss My Keto bars, Okay. Oh, it's melty. And we keep our house. Our house is 76 degrees right now. That's sad for me, though. It is a really good inside. We need to keep it like 68 The degrees. outside, you can see, is like is melted chocolate. It, it's a, and a great chocolate, but it melts. So it doesn't make me sad. These need to be kept. I mean, not that you have to keep them, but you're going to have a much better uh, enjoyment with them, keeping them in the freezer or even the fridge. But put them in the freezer is like eating a frozen Three Musketeers bar. That that thing was delicious. This, this one was really good. Wow. Well, that's I good. don't know if it's my favorite flavor of, of the Kiss My Keto bar. I don't know. I think I've been missing Three Musketeers and didn't realize it. Uh, chicory root fiber, coconut oil, whole egg powder. Almonds, unsweetened chocolate, milk protein isolate, egg whites, erythritol, cocoa butter, cacao nibs, medium uh, triglycerides, acacia gum, natural flavor, sunflower lecithin, sea salt, cashews, purified stevia extract, and monk fruit. And this is 230 calories per bar, 19 grams of fat, 9 grams of protein, 17 total carbohydrates, 12 grams of dietary fibers, 2 grams of sugar alcohol, which would make that 3 net carbs. It's so. delicious. <laughs> this one, I love this one, but it's usually not my first go-to just because it's usually a little bit higher on the carbs than my other two. Oh, okay. So, what, but put it here with the Keto Fit. Yep, let's put that with the Keto Fit because those will go back into the freezer to save to eat another day. Those? Garbage. Garbage. Um, I keep looking down here. Number five. This got a straight up one. This got a, this tasted like butt. <laughs> like, this was terrible. <laughs> It didn't, it wasn't really sweet. It just, it had a terrible mouthfeel and... Ugh. Well, number five was the Quest Bar. Ah, uh, well, that's not surprising. Well, you know what? Now, it also doesn't help. I mean, I only it threw this in because we got it for... Can 87 you see cents. That? Can you see that? It 87 cents. It didn't um, break my teeth off, though, so no. that was good. 87 cents. That was disgusting. That was terrible. Ugh. I might even go over the ingredients on that one. <coughs> Water. Number six. I gave it a three. I gave it a two. Okay, number six was the Boo Fit Bar. <gasps> I'm shocked. I thought this one was going to be delicious. Did we go, oh, by the way, the Kiss My Keto Bar is $3.30. That's the normal price. There's almost always a deal, almost always a coupon. And we do have a coupon code down in the description for them. I am shocked this wasn't good. I really expected it to be good. Didn't you? Yeah, the, the Boo Fit bar. Wow. Um, it's funny. I wrote not a great flavor, very bland. Yeah. I'm shocked to re realize and that it was salted, salted caramel? caramel. That I would not have known it was. I gotta take, take. I gotta remind myself of what this tasted like. Yeah, let me like. try too. Why did I give this such a bad rating? I guess I give it an average rating. 
Okay, I'm gonna tell you what it tastes like. When you would go on a trip to Georgia, you always had to get those pecan rolls, right? That's what it tastes like. Only it tastes like one I'm not that's a sweet. been sitting out for like You're way right. too long. Good job. That's exactly what it tastes like. It tastes like the old fashioned pecan rolls. But you one would that's get. past its prime. Yeah. And not not as sweet. Yeah. Not definitely not salted caramel. No, not at all. But I mean, it doesn't even taste like not salted caramel good. Yeah. Okay, so these are two dollars and seventy five cents. I'm sorry. I really wanted to like them. Oh, I kind of tore apart the ingredients. Okay, so organic whey protein, organic roasted sunflower seeds, organic um, prebiotic fiber. I remember roasted looking pecans, at this and thinking that Organic I could sunflower stop. lecithin, organic uh, palm oil, uh, pure water. Um, again, I, I'm sorry, I, I ripped some of this off, so I can't read all the ingredients. But all the ingredients that they I can see good. look really good. So serving size is one bar, 220 calories, uh, 150 calories from fat, 17 grams of fat, 13 grams of protein, 10 total carbohydrates, nine grams of fiber. Wow, so one? One, one net carb. So if you just wanna work it in, but you're like looking for something that doesn't taste fantastic? <laughs> it's not bad. I mean, it's, it's average. It's I average. Um, I felt like it was a below average. Looking at the price, I gave it a three. It's two dollars and fifty cents, um, so I would probably steer away from it only because it's average. Yeah, and it's like if price. this if this was a dollar fifty two dollars, yeah. and then you compare it to this, which is three thirty, and so I'm gonna get everything from this that I'm gonna get from this, but save myself a dollar dollar fifty a bar. I would be jumping on this, but I'm only looking at twenty five thirty cents savings, and it's not good. Sorry. I, I, but that one, let's make another pile. I won't waste that one. Yeah. I, I will consume that one. I just would not ever buy them again. Yeah. Uh, number seven. I gave it a two. One. It was the Mary Jane. That's the Rev Raw Rev Glow Bar. Ugh. That one was terrible. Creamy peanut butter and sea salt. Ugh. Creamy peanut. That was peanut butter? I told you it tasted like peanut butter. No. It did not. It tastes, ugh. Okay, are you ready for this? Yeah. Ingredients. Raw Rev Superfood Blend, which is peanuts, pea protein, brown rice protein, organic hemp protein, organic virgin coconut oil, raw and chia, oil. raw organic chia seeds, raw organic sprouted flax seeds, isomalto oligosaccharides, IMO fiber. So they're adding this stuff and it's not even winding up tasting good. Nope. And because that's supposed to be super sweet. Right. That's, but that's why it's got that texture. Anytime you have a bar that's got this like... Taffy texture. It's too. It, was it too probably hard. has IMO fiber in because that's what IMO fiber does. Look, you can press it together and make the bar again. Oh, I know. Ugh. Okay, and then it says it has sea salt. Now let's take a look at the. Uh, so one bar of this is 180 calories, 100 calories from fat. So that's not even that great. It has 15 grams of protein, 11 grams of fat. So once again, it's higher protein than fat. Uh, it's it's higher fat percentage protein, like calories wise, but not by much. Um, and then it has 17 total carbohydrates, 14 of which they're saying is fiber. But again, you can't subtract all that fiber because it's IMO fiber. Right. That's on the pile that I'm not eating it. <laughs> Ugh. Oh, how did the Stoka bar stay in here? Didn't did we? Oh no, we didn't. I was like, how is it still in this pile? But yeah, I just it was just remember yet. eating it. Okay. Number eight. So number eight, I dang. gave it a four slash five. It has to be a dang bar. Okay, I gave it, it a, I gave, it's the dang bar. And I, I said it was the dang bar. Yes, number eight is the dang bar. I have a five and then I put a four next to it because it is not my favorite flavor. I gave it a four only because I knew what it was. I can just tell because yep. I, I eat them. Um, I love the texture of them. You can dang see is not everything. is not always my go-to. Only because when I, the, Dang is my go-to if I want something not sweet. But look, I mean, you can see every single ingredient in that bar. <laughs> that is, it is good. It is really good, but it is not overly sweet. It's, it's a breakfast bar. It's yeah. definitely not a like after dinner, I want a piece of chocolate bar. But this one is chocolate sea salt. I didn't really taste it. It was like an sea average salt. flavor. I, th um, there's so many I really like the toasted coconut one. I really like the cardamom one, which that one really surprised me. I like the lemon one. The lemon one, yeah. 
Yeah. So, uh, yeah, I gave it a four. Again, it's in my top three, but it's always... Like, I have to be in a mood for a dang bar. Yeah. A dang bar is when I don't want something overly sweet. That's what I'm going to eat. Yeah. Okay. So, yep, we will finish that up. Um, it fell out. Number nine. Uh, I gave it a number five. I gave it a four because um, I, I felt like that I couldn't identify the flavor totally. Yeah, like we had was, a small piece. Too. It had a good mouthfeel, but like I couldn't tell like what flavor is this supposed to be. So that was number five. And I gave it a five. I said awesome taste, great texture. It's the perfect keto bar. Ah, okay. Do you want to like yeah. a little revisit more taste? Oh my gosh, look at that chocolate. I can't, it's so warm in our house, but look at that just melting. Okay. Okay, so now it's chocolate chip cookie, cookie dough. dough. It tastes like straight chocolate to me. All the chocolate's melted. Yeah. It's good. I just thought I couldn't identify what the flavor was exactly. But it is tasty. Okay. And then finally, number 10. I gave it a three. I gave it a four. It's a Stoka bar. It's the only thing that's left. It's the Stoka bar. I gave it a three more based on I'm not a huge granola fan. They're average. Oh, your beard is all full of chocolate. chocolate everywhere. I feel it. Is my beard full of chocolate? No. Okay. Um, I gave it a three because it's it's great taste, good flavor, um, but I just I'm not a huge granola fan. I liked it. I like it. I'm not saying I don't like it. I'm saying I'm I'm also basing it on what I buy it. Yeah. Okay. So these ones seem to be in the running. That's that's kind of awesome. You're. Like we all like Careful the this. ones like they're melting. They all we all like the ones that we buy all the time. Yep. I don't normally eat so, them, but shocker, we've never had the keto fit bar, but we have to look into that one. Yeah. Oh, by the way, so the so, Stoka bars are three dollars a bar. Perfect keto bars are three thirty three. But again, there's always a deal on them. We do have a coupon code as two crazy ketos, mm -hmm. and that would get you. Uh, I think it's fifteen percent off your first order. But we definitely need to reach out to keto fit because. It was good. That was really good. That and they have to surprising. start looking for them. And um, they're a couple of cents cheaper. They're two ninety one a bar. Oh. So. I like that. So that is our video for today. Hope we've helped you guys out. Hopefully we've showed you guys some bars to not buy. Yeah. I was super surprised at the fact that there's a, the bars that we didn't like were the ones that didn't have good ingredients in them. So it's not like I'm missing out avoiding these bars. They're not something I would want to eat anyway right well i was kind of shocked by just the fact that the ones that i kind of threw out were the ones that were generally high in protein oh yeah i'm also shocked by the one bar that i had no idea how to imo fiber in it i can usually pick that out one two three and i think what was that the raw rev glow bar yeah i had no clue so it shows you how bad that bar is if you couldn't figure it out because imo fiber should be super sweet yeah so, so it will and it makes me feel good that the that the bars that we are purchasing all have are, good ingredients. All have good and, ingredients. And we found another one. And so. and we like the flavor. Yep. And by the way, we did get that keto fit in one of our snack boxes. So yeah. I don't remember which one. So so like I said, that's our video for today. Hopefully we've helped you guys out. If you like what you saw, do us a favor and hit that like button down below. And don't forget to subscribe to our channel and hit the little bell icon. And that way, every single time we upload a new video, you'll be alerted and to And comment it. down below. Are there any other products out there where like keto products where you'd like to see us compare a bunch of different ones and yeah. subject ourselves to something? something stupid like this but until next time bye bye